In this video, we're creating this gorgeous looking animated logo using Photo P. When I say animated, it'll end up being animated this way. And join me, let's do this. So open your online editor tool, Photo P, at www.photop.com. Then you're going to open a new project for this one. You can do your settings of how big you want your canvas to be. I'm happy with a 1280 by 720 and a white background. But if you want a transparent background and you're going to convert your design to 3D, you can change it over there. Once you're happy, you click on create. Then your canvas is created. As you can see, the first layer is your background. Next, you're going to create a round shape. We're going to use our tools. So you're going to go and select the ellipse tool. Then you hold the shift key on Mac. It's the up arrow and you create a perfect circle. And once you're happy, you can use V to go back to the move tool or just click on the move tool. Then you can move your shape to where you want it to be. Next, you're going to duplicate this round shape by holding the Alt key and moving your mouse to create a duplicate of that. Then you have your second round shape. We want to reduce the size of the second shape. Therefore, we're going to click on transform controls and then we reduce the size to a smaller size then we lay it on the second shape and it is now on the second shape we're happy we're gonna tick it but now it's gonna be all black you won't know which one is which so we need to change color then you're going to rasterize or allow the layers to be edited by rasterizing so we're gonna go on our layers and we rasterize that will allow us to tweak the shape if we've rasterized then we're going to go on our color. Then we swap the colors around so that we have red. Then we, we select the paint bucket tool and we change it to red. Then we're going to go back to our move tool or we press V. Then we hold the alt keys to duplicate the third shape. And then we can change this to a third color. So I found a nice tool online if you struggle with color like me then you could use a different perspective where they've put the colors together that work together for you and they give you hex codes in order for you to have the correct colors that you want to use so i loved this one when you hover and you click on it like that it copies the hex code then you jump back to photo p and go to colors and then you change the hex code color you paste it over there and you click ok then we go back to our paint bucket tool and then we change the color to the color that we want so i can see that these are still the same size i'm gonna go back to my move tool or press v and then transform control and then reduce the size so that it is a smaller size that's gonna slot in there then i'm happy i tick and then I switch off my transform. Then next, I'm gonna to go to my type tool and then type the name of this business that I'm designing for. Then I'm going to use the, the distance galaxy font and you just click on there because you are on the type tool. Then you type the name of the business. Pressing V for my move tool, I move my focus and there, go back to my type tool. I do the second part or the business of and like that, your logo is done, created 2D. We're happy with that. In order for you to animate a 2D, a flat logo, maybe next week we can do a 3D logo where we've converted the layers and we then make each layer animate. But for today, we're doing 2D animation. What Photo P requires from you is to select each layer that you want to be animated and then you animate it. What I mean by that, I'm gonna go back to my layers. I'm gonna select the first shape, which is shape number one, the black round, as you can see in blue, it's the first one. Then you're gonna go to your layer 
and you're going to go to animation and you click on make frames have a look at the layers side it then puts the name of the shape underscore a underscore shape so that when you are converting the logo as you're exporting as a gif photo p then knows because of the way it's named to convert it to a gif and you would do exactly the same for all your layers so i'm going to select the red shape and i'm going to go to layer and i'm going to go to animation and make frame you could also type it in on the name over there so if you go and you say underscore a underscore it's the same principle then you do the same for focus layer when you look on the layer side all of the layers have that underscore a studio underscore that means all of the layers have been converted to be animated when you export your file so what you then do you go to file and you say export as we're exporting as a gif and then it opens up this window that shows you how the logo is going to be animated cool right so you then do your settings over there so you could put up the speed of how quick you want the animation to be or how slow it should be and you could do reverse frames meaning they go reverse i like the boomerang because then it goes back and comes back and goes back and comes back and that's all you pretty much do when you click on save and then your gif is animated if you enjoy tutorials like this don't forget to subscribe and if you want like a course structure where i teach how to do beginning to end logo design visit learnwithzar.com we have a course that teaches you how to design logos using Canva. I will see you on the next video.